Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to part 7 of the Honda C Rebuild Project. Now on this episode, part 7, I want this to be the final episode. I want to be done with this car, get her started, put her on the ground and go for a little test drive and hopefully everything's going to be uh, fine. So uh, before I install headlights, bumper, fenders, all that stuff, I'm going to go ahead and uh, install the intake and then I'm going to install the battery because there's no battery on there right now. I'm going to connect all of that, double check everything, make sure everything is connected properly, all the hoses, the little connectors and everything. And then I'm going to start her up and fill her up with fluids and see and hope there's not going to be any, any kind of leaks on the radiator because I had to, uh, on the previous episode, I had to straighten out the radiator a little bit. It was not a true square. It was kind of, you know, tilted to the side. So uh, hopefully uh, there's no any sort of damage that I didn't see. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and fill up the radiator with fluid, connect the intake and connect the battery, and then we're gonna start her up and see how she does. All right, so now all the radiator fluid is put in, everything's connected, all the connectors, I double checked, triple checked, everything is good. Uh, the battery's connected, uh, battery has about 12.6 volts, so it's fine. Uh, so now I'm gonna go ahead and give her a start and let her idle and see, hopefully there's no, there's no leaks. And I'm gonna wait for her to, you know, run and warm up to normal temperatures and then hopefully uh, that starts circulating the coolant and the thermostat starts opening up and then I'm going to add a little more fluid as it goes and then I'm going to close up the cap um, once the fluid starts rising. Basically you want it to kind of warm up, circulate, but you don't want it to warm up too much because then obviously it's going to start coming out of the radiator. So you want to catch it just in time and then after driving for a little bit I'm going to check it again, add some more fluid as I go. All right, let's give it a start and see how she goes. I mean, so far so good, it's bubbling a little bit, goes down a little bit, I keep on adding, so basically I'm going to let it idle for a bit. Uh, basically the goal is to idle until the fans, uh, the fans start turning on and that's when you know it's actually starting to warm up to normal temperatures. And you can tell right now it's actually starting to go up higher, so this is when I actually want to close it up because that's when it's actually warming up and as it warms up oh come on now this way or that way there we go okay so once it starts climbing up that's when you know it's starting to warm up already um, and then 
as it circulates eventually. Uh, that's when the fan starts turning on, that's when the thermostat starts opening up and it starts circulating through the engine. And then later on I will go ahead and uh, check the fluid again once the van is cooled off and add some more as I go. No funny noises because before when I started the car without the radiator the water pump start started making a little bit of a funny noise that's because it was running dry and the coolant has some of a this coolant is somewhat lubricant on uh, usually it has some kind of lubrication into them so that's what kind of keeps the water pump running a little bit smoother when it actually has uh, fluid in there so so far good so far so good so far no uh, no leaks anywhere this is the leak one actually kind of spilled it a little bit uh, but other than that so far so good so I'm gonna go ahead and let her run to the fans till the fans uh, turn on and then hopefully that circulates a couple times and then I'm gonna double check everything uh, make sure everything's good and start reassembling back together all the headlights the fenders and the bumper all right so we'll check her when she warms up and see how she does All right, so after waiting for a bit, the fans finally turned on, but they turned on only for a few minutes. Uh, basically, uh, when the engine got to about, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's 80, 180 right now. Oh, there we go. Uh, when it got to, I'm trying to sh put the laser on where the thermostat is. Uh, and when I got it to, when it got to like 200, uh, then the fans turned on and then it cooled off the fluid a little bit uh, I'm assuming it, it circulated through the system cooled it off a little bit and then it went down a little bit And I'm assuming when it's gonna go to a uh, uh, 200 once again, it's gonna turn on the fans So everything seems to be working. Everything is fine Right there so Basically right there. It's 198 right now 196 198 Okay so it's about 190, okay, it's 197. So it should turn on around 200. Okay, here we go. So we are at... I don't know if you guys heard that, the fan turns on. And then it started to drop in temperature. So everything seems to be working, everything's fine. So far, so good. And they worked for a little bit, pulled off the fluid, and uh, and then uh, turned off. All right, so now that everything checks out, everything is good, no leaks, everything is pretty much uh, good to go. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start installing the fenders, uh, headlights, uh, front bumper, and I don't have this top cover, but that's not a big deal. I'm gonna have to find one maybe on eBay or junkyard, whatever. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna see what else I might need at the junkyard. But I'm going to pretty much install everything that I have right now and then we can put it on the ground and install the wheels and the wheel walls as well.
All right, well, here's what I got so far. Um, there was a few things that were just not going well. Uh, for example, this headlight that I bought has a broken bracket down here. So I couldn't finalize um, the install of the headlight and also the little bracket that goes right here underneath the headlight uh, for the bumper to snap in that's a little bit bent too so i'm gonna see if i can buy this or just straighten this out i don't know yet so i'm gonna have to deal with that and uh but other than that everything else kind of went fairly well uh everything lines up pretty good the fender the the hood lines up pretty good with the exception of you know a few things that i couldn't finish up with the headlight sadly i'm gonna have to get on ebay and see if i can find the bracket and i don't know what i'm gonna do with the little broken off uh plastic bracket that's on the headlight i don't know i'll see if i can figure it out so that's what i got so far i can't uh, obviously finish it 100 percent because of this little issue right here i'm gonna see if i can figure that out i was hoping i'll be able to finish that and then put it on wheels and go for a little test drive but because i don't know what to do with the headlight yet uh, i'm gonna have to go to part what part eight so uh guys i hope you enjoyed this video uh sorry that it's sometimes you know taking longer than it should and that's how it is with all the projects sometimes they are taking longer than they should it seems like it happens all the time all the time so guys thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you're new please subscribe and we'll see you on the next one